Welcome to the lab. In today's video, we are diving into the fascinating world of X-ray diffraction or XRD, a powerful technique used to unravel the mysteries of the crystal structures. But before we can get to those precise results, it all starts with one critical step, a sample preparation. Whether you are a seasoned scientist or just a curious about the process, I'll be walking you through the step-by-step -step method to prepare your samples perfectly every time. Get ready to discover the tips and tricks that turn that original, uh, original uh, or, or an ordinary powder into data, data ready uh, samples. Let's get started. So you need these equipment. You need what we call the backloaded, the backloaded sample holder. You need the uh, the 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 top and the bottom of the sample holder you need also the razor plate you need the, the spatula you need the pressing block and then you need the paper towel for cleaning and then also with the ethanol all right and you also need this holder which um, holds up to 15 samples and you need the clean surface in this case i'm using the paper okay to avoid um, sample contamination um, then you also need your sample all right so when you prepare the xrd um, samples all right you begin by examining the sample holder you begin by examining the sample holder you'll notice a button that is the button you'll notice the button um, which you can press to move the, the piece inside. You move this piece inside, all right? This piece is crucial as it allows the top part of the sample holder to either lock it in place or be released when necessary, all right? So if, if the piece inside has been moved, ensure that the flat side, if this it's, has been moved, ensure now that the, um, the flat side uh, of the of the top part of the sample holder is facing down all right so you make sure that the flat side of this uh, top part of the sample holder is facing down so you put it like this and then you make sure that this moves and then like that all right then you you carefully lock it in place by pressing the the button I press the button and then i locked it in place all right so now Take your well-labeled samples, you take your well-labeled samples, ensuring, uh, um, um, ensuring they are in a finely homogenized um, powdered form, all right? So the quality of the powder is essential as it affects the accuracy of the, of the XRD, of the XRD uh, analysis, all right? I have my sample. All right. So, what do we do next? We overfill. We overfill the. Um, we overfill uh, this well. We overfill the well of the sample holder with the powdered sample. All right. And then we we try to ensure that the sample is evenly distributed across the well to avoid any inconsistencies during analysis. All right. So, what do we do? We make sure. Um, I think this one does not do the job nicely. I'll try to use this one. So um, we're trying to overfill in the well. Okay, we are overfilling the well, and then I can use the spatula like this to make sure that this is evenly distributed okay i can add a little bit of the powder okay now i'm compressing the sample first i do this a bit and then you use this press block to firmly and evenly press down the sample with a strong force okay so i do this with a strong force so this step is crucial to ensure that the powder is compacted and the surface is as smooth as flat as possible so 
after um, I can press again. So after pressing, there will be um, there will likely be excess powder around the edges, as you can see. All right. So the first step, I can do this first. I can do this first. So you still have um, the um, the excess of powder around the edges of the well. Then carefully we remove this excess using the razor plate. So what do we do? Um, we remove. We remove this. Do it gently until it's flat. Okay. And then can do this again. And then use your make sure that now um, no loose uh, powder interf uh, uh, interferes with analysis. So we want to make sure why are we cleaning? Um, we want to make sure that no loose powder that's gonna inter um, interfere with the analysis. So make sure that um, we clean this. All right. So you use this uh, paper towel to wipe away any remaining traces of powder um, around the sample holder. All right. Now, after that, with the bottom, this is with um, the bottom of the sample holder facing down. You have to face it down. Press until you hear a click. You face it down. Press until you hear a, a, a distinct click. All right. You hear it? You hear the, the thing to click. This sound indicates that the sample holder is securely locked in place. It does not matter which way you position the sample holder rotationally as it is designed to function the same way regardless. All right? So now what do you do? You release the sample. You release, um, or you re how to release the sample? You press the button to release the sample. But before doing so, flip the sample holder. So... So you can flip it like that, all right? Flip the sample holder, or alternatively, you can flip the entire um, block like I did, all right? You can um, flip the entire block like I did and press the button, all right? Lifting straight up afterward. You press the button, lifting straight up afterward, and then, all right, there you have it. There you have it. So after completing the steps, you should have a well-prepared, well-prepared sample with a smooth level surface that is flush with the top of the sample holder. This is now ready for XRD analysis. So I can clean this um, portion a bit. I can clean this portion a bit. Okay. I can clean this portion a bit. And then there you have it. Then you can store it inside this. Okay. Then you can store it inside this. There you have it. It's ready for XRD analysis. Thank you guys for joining us today. Please don't forget to like, share, um, comment, and subscribe so that we keep producing this kind of a content. Until next time, cheers.